And how's it, mate? Nice, uh, nice, nice to well, not to see you, but to chat. Um, so, so firstly, I don't think Jake will start with Monastan. I don't think he'll make changes. You know, he's got um, his his team have got a good flow. They've got a good rhythm. They've got a nice balance. They're all doing their jobs well. Um, they've come through a, a tough run, and they've come through unbelievably well. I don't see any any reason to change that. And Jake is a is probably the most astute coach we have the most experienced and most astute and I, and I, I don't I can't see him making any changes to be quite fair and particularly if it's wet you know it's um he might bring Mune on as a, as a finisher as he's done in the past but but right now that starting lineup is delivered and and there's be, there'd be no point in changing it and then and then around game management I I think that is the sign of the the, the you know the great players and it's not just at 10 by the way you know to to the point that was made earlier Chris Smith is um He's the sort of unassuming fluff. He's not. He's not always the guy who, who controls absolutely everything. He's got. He's got a great scrum off in front of him. Zach Berger played on the weekend. I, I'd imagine he'll play again. His kicking game is excellent. He's he's strong and he's robust. He, he does a lot of the controlling. He's got. Um, he's got really good players outside of him. And I'm back talking to you about about Chris. Um, he's, he's got fullbacks that carry it back and and uh, make good decisions. So so I, I think. The whole game management package is is what counts. And if you've got a ten who plays a major role in that, it's it's what you want. If you've got other players who contribute, it's a bonus. And both teams have that. You know, if you if you consider Chris Smith and maybe Zach Berger, and then you look at the Stormers, you you you've got Manny Libok, and then you've got Damien Willems at twelve. He was, you know, we we thought last week he was out for six weeks and was going to have elbow surgery. He played and was man of the match. He was just sensational. So, and then you got Warwick Halant at the back there. So you've got like a team of, of of game management in that in that Stormers backline, it's um it is the be all and the end all. And when we talk about game management, it's not just about decision making. It's about execution. It's about managing space. It's about you know playing the field in the right places. It's about when you when you take a kicking option, it's about making the right kick and executing well. Um, and in particular, if if the conditions are tough and it's wet and possibly windy, you know the pressure will be on all those guys.